Jess. Do you remember back in October when we went to see Finding Neverland? Well, today is Tuesday, January 8th, and it's finally time for us to see another Broadway Grand Rapids show. We're so, so, so excited. Do you want to know what show it is? Let me just give you a hint. Ta-da! It's School of Rock. School of Rock! <laughs> So I have to get ready, and in case you're wondering, I am planning to wear this shirt, and I'm going to try to really glam it up. I'm not that great with makeup, but I've been looking up some tutorials online, so we'll see how that goes. Ta-da! I don't know about you, but I am ready to rock. <laughs> in case you're wondering where I got this shirt, I actually bought it at least 10 years ago, probably. I don't know if you know this about me, you probably do already, um, but... When I was a teenager, I really, really wanted to sort of be this rocker, guitar-playing person. Um, and so I bought a lot of shirts that had guitars on them and that said, I'm ready to rock and things like that. I didn't actually know how to play guitar. I owned one, but I hadn't taken any lessons yet. Now I do know, so that's pretty fun. Um, but I've given most of my shirts away except for this one. I just couldn't part with it. And so now I'm glad I did because it's perfect for the show. I don't know if you can see my makeup. Uh, I went for a big old wing tip highlighter and some smoky eye. And I don't know if I did it right, but it's fun. No one's looking at me anyway, right? So let's go see a show. Hey, so we're in the theater and it's intermission and oh man, it's so good. Really good, really enjoying it. Stick it to the man, yes. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, uh, but Aaron is actually dressed like the main character in his sweater vest and sleeves rolled up because it's called punk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're really enjoying the show. Super good, the kids are amazing. Mm -hmm. And as the announcement by Andrew Lloyd Webber said, they are really playing their rock and roll instruments. <laughs> They're so talented. I'm in the band. 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 In the band. In the band. Stick it to the man. Jerk ya. Stick it to the man. Don't the system. Stick it to the man. System. Stick it to the man. Phew. So obviously we're back home now, and it's um, almost eleven o'clock, and it's a Tuesday, mind you, and I have to be at work tomorrow at mm, six a.m. So. We're going to go to bed, and maybe we'll come back tomorrow with some more to say about it, because it was a great rocking show, and there's just so much to talk about. So, see you later! It's us again, and it's the next day after we slept. <laughs> so, is there anything else you want to say about School of Rock? It rocked. It did. It's really, really good. We were most impressed by uh, the children actors, um, who were really, really talented. Like, mm -hmm. they could... Uh, they were really playing the instruments, and they were super, super good at it, and they sang beautifully and amazingly. Mm -hmm. We were blown away. It was really, really cool. Yeah. We really liked the, the numbers that the kids led were really, really good. Mm -hmm. It has some good stuff to say about um, making sure adults pay attention to kids and how sometimes adults don't think about um, paying attention to children the way they ought to. There's a whole song where the kids are thinking about how they've got so much to say if only their parents would listen or if only their teachers would listen. And kind of the story is about the main character, Dewey, um, their substitute teacher, uh, being kind of the only one who listens, really listens to them and gets to know them. Mm -hmm. um, and as a teacher, I found that very moving. Certainly, mm -hmm. I bet you felt the same. Yeah. Yeah, that was really good. Jess, I don't know if you've watched the movie of School of Rock um, but or know about the story, um, but... I sort of saw some parallels to PBL and the stuff you do because 
Um, Dewey doesn't actually know how to teach, um, but he knows how to lead a rock band. And so that's what he decides to do. And um, he's not trying to you know, be a teacher, but um, he ends up being a really good one. And you can kind of see, I think you could definitely figure out how uh, forming a rock band could be a really good PBL unit. <laughs> And definitely the kids learn a lot. Like, they <clears throat> grow in their confidence, and they learn about music. They learn about leadership and teamwork. Um, and they just learn. They grow tremendously as human beings from being in this rock band, and they learn a lot. Even though their parents are horrified when they hear about this and think they haven't <laughs> learned anything. Um, but then what Dewey tells them is basically, your kids are amazing. They've done so much. They've worked so hard. They've done so many cool, important things, even if it's not traditional schoolwork. Mm -hmm. And it was cool that um, they each got to do the, whatever job that they liked the best and felt the most comfortable doing. And he did a good job of encouraging them to do that thing and be awesome. So in a way, they sort of had a lot of agency in mm -hmm. their project. It rocked. It did. And it was just, yeah, it was a really good show. Um, I think you would like it. Uh, you should listen to the soundtrack if you're interested. And rock on. <laughs> oh also we love you so much and mm -hmm. we'll, we'll see, see you on, on monday, monday.